Hey everyone, I'm Nixie. Welcome back to Final Fantasy where we are in slight panic about Jill, at least I am. Um, we saw Harvard, um, Togo, listening to some music. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we encountered Barnabas for the first time um, and took down Harbour which I was not expecting like to do that Paul said it was an um I thought we had like a little bit more time um and Jill didn't come back which is very very concerning um so let's speak to Otto and see if he's got we're well, after some stuff from Sid if you're here where the hell is everyone else don't tell me they're all right but it's a long story Yeah, Mid needs some um, of Sid's notes or something. You lot don't do things by arms, do you? Nope. I hope Jill's well, at okay. At least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. Ah, we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been the mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Okay. Like father, like daughter. Okay. So, hopefully we can find it. Yeah, God. Jill took an attack from Barnabas face first. At least that's like it's how it was left. Um, so that's kind of concerning. Um, let's have a look then. I'm sure it's not going to be this easy. Is it? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, I'll already have read it. Mm. I'd better keep looking. Okay. Look at that little doll on the shelf. <laughs> um, okay. I'm sure it's not just going to be out in the open like this. What do we have here? Uh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. <laughs> okay. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me anything in here. Don't even know what this is. I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Mids. You think something's hiding in that? Mid it all. Oh, God, Sid. And then you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my invention, this one's the best. And so when choosing its place of rest, I record your office. Daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. How did Mid so not? Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. How did Mid not know that that was in there? If Clive saw it, surely Mid would have seen it. No. Okay, let's see what Otto has to say. Find yes. Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. 
She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? Okay. Well, surprise us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> you surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Fair enough. So is that the thing in the um, that has very expensive songs that I haven't bought any of them because they're just expensive even though we've got quite a lot of money actually but they're not a little treasure hunt cute oh I didn't break it well I didn't break it what didn't you break uh, we didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. What's wrong with it? Sounds like he's trying to pick up radio it's waves. Broken, except when it isn't. Oh. It's like a vending machine. See? And you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> no, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Your sausage. Like this. Don't do it again, man. Does it sound like a vending machine? See? All too well. All right, out of the way. Sausages. Something behind it, maybe underneath there. Something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, yes. Ah. How about now? Started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. What is that? Can we see it? Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important. <laughs> she showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Okay, cool. Job done. That sounded like a Sid's little, um, like music. I miss it. Just the two I was looking for. Tasha? Uh -huh. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. <gasps> Damn. Damn. Left? Unless you have another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. Where? He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. No? We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? <sighs> Ask me when I get back. <laughs> Though I may be sometime. Then at least try to stay safe. Right? But if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? I'm trying. Trying not L. Okay, so we need if to go back to you. Waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. There's a plus sign. 
That means it's important. Blacksmith Blues 3. Mercy. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's definitely check out the Blacksmith Blues, which... Do we need to... Was his name August? God. Carrying lettuce before, now you're carrying this sack of whatever. Okay, let's... You're gonna pull it down. No. Are you working hard or hardly working? I think we have enough for now now to do the for now now to do the uh talisman of priming. I'm intrigued to see what it is. How may I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts. Yes. In case you will find an item of high and strange order, one for which I require neither thanks nor re recompense. Uh, consider consider it a reminder of where loyalties are best placed, the trap man. All yours. Thanks. Now Hold let's up. see what it does. Oh yeah, I um we had like four thousand something um ability points so I went ahead and mastered this. Um and then I think I wanna master this next. Um and then maybe try and get this. Um that is good. Let's have a look. Increases defense by thirty. Uh increases line heart tonic during duration by thirty seconds. <laughs> is that it? Um and I also upgraded limit break because it gives us an extra um gauge. So we now have three rather than two. So that'll help us heal a little bit longer. August, what's up with Blackmore right, now? Alright, Clive. Alright, told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried? Worried about him. <laughs> and you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So... Obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... Yeah, we'll go speak to him. I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. <laughs> Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Okie dokie. Yeah, I think there's four uh, Blackthorn, uh, like Blacksmith Blues, in the little set. So let's go see. God, he is just carrying that sack from one side to the other. Okay. I'm sure Mid's fine. She can wait a little longer. <laughs> okay. Hello. You're staring at your anvil. Are you asleep? Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Oh, and you've got better things to do with your time. Yeah, actually, I do. Have <laughs> seen? August tells me he showed you a ring. That the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. Bless you him. Lost the ring, right? Why though? Brought back some unhappy memories. That's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? Mm -hmm. There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. Sometimes it helps to talk about them, and sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring he flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. 
That's interesting that he's coming with us. Okay, and there was another side quest infirmary. Let's just go see what this other side quest is as well while we're here. This guy. Um Yeah, see what this is. Yeah, definitely we want to make sure that we do the Blackthorn buns, ah, uh, because we've got good uh, rewards for doing those. Ah, oh, this guy. She can't keep this. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop him for a moment. Oh, that's a bad case. I'm offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. Sure. I know better than to order Tyre to do anything, but I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Me too. Okay, cool. Let's see what she has to say before heading out then, because I'm sure we'll have to head out somewhere. Oh, Tyre. Well. Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. Okay. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. Right. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. 
If he's gonna die, you may as well make it as we painless have as possible. All the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwan. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Sure, why is that? Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norland, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Spider's eye? Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. Hopefully we make it in time, I guess. Slay a mightling for its eye. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, we're not going there yet. Calm down. Um, so that's where the thing is. Let's go pick up these eyes. Um, do we have a quicker fast travel point? I oh, know it's not that far away. I'm actually surprised there wasn't any enemies or anything in Lost Wing and that's we're gonna come back later. Maybe that's the, the end we're gonna see of Lost Wing actually. Um, unless after everything's done and dusted like and the ether clears up. Puffins. Goblins recently. Cool, just the tail. There. Rodrigo could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. <laughs> They're not that big, Clive. Just be like there's gonna be just like one big spider. Okay, last one. There you go. Well, you may as well take a few eyes back as soon as you've like killed that many. Oh, actually, close to a level spider eye, just the one actually. Hopefully, one will be enough. Can you take two? Well, we'll have prepared the other ingredients by now. Okay. Let's let's just go ahead and finish this one off, and then we'll go meet Blackthorn. That's quite exciting. Me is going to be out and about, away from the hideaway for a change. Ah, this guy. Um. It's like it's the first time. That he's ever left the hideaway. Okay. There you go. One, one spider oh, eye. Toya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? He's a bit like dramatic. That character, isn't he? Don't you think? Yes, he is. Thank you, Clive. You're welcome. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Ty is right. Sometimes it's all we can do. Right, better than the gruesome Some couple of hours. The most agonizing pain and all other sensations of it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. But 
it's about death. I wish there was another way. Even if you could keep him alive though, it's not like he's going to be able to do anything with like 95% of his body like stone. How are you feeling? Do you think it was like her mentor or something? He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigo. And you, Clive. See that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor. Yeah. Back in the Southern Isles. On the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents. To treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next. Never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. But my mentor's gift give the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Did we go up a level? We did. Level 40? Yeah, that's level 40. Nice. Yeah, surely it's better to go that way than to like spend these last few hours in absolute agony. Um I thought there's a new ones that had popped up. Okay, let's have a look. Um A the man in black lost wing oh, we were just there the great part of this black shields were spied on lost wing were taken by the ether blood however we have received reports of one yet survives i see a lot of their evil cause who persists in delivering any bearer who strays too close to his hiding place to a gruesome death alas he has head for proved more than a match for the curse breakers to slay him should we go do this? Where are you? Um, the sickle. Um, okay, we could probably do these two. The man in black. I'm intrigued. Let's, um, yeah, let's go have a look at this one. God, it really is like covered in either. It kind of makes it hard to see. Like, it's really thick. I also don't know where I'm going. Is this it? Oh, it's one of these guys. Hilly Tri Trumpeter. <laughs> Rank 
B, we should be able to do this. And we've already taken one of these out before. Considering she's dead. Yes. Oh. Can we bring it down? Yes. Where he got up, right? Nice try. Where you going? Ow! Mm. Okay, sure. Oh god, I forgot about this game. Oh god, just walk up. Be careful. Give him everything. And it's a toughie as well. Anything good for it then? Here's a rank B. Okay. Your work here is done. He's just like chilling by himself. Like in this little spot. Cool. Um, and then the other one was down Becky. Let's see if we can try and find that one. And then that'll just mean that there's two S ranks which we're not high enough to take on yet. I had to put my glasses on. Okay, I feel like I'm getting a bit of eye strain. Oh god. I can't even remember what it's supposed to be. Or where it is actually. 
Hopefully I'll come across it soon. What are you doing here? Don't want to fight that. Um, maybe keep going. It's kind of a bit cold as well. I might have to put a cardigan on. <laughs> See what's down for this one. Ah, is this it? Oh, it's like a parrot tracker bell. Oh god, I was trying to sneak to that item. <laughs> We can do this. It's gonna be tough. That's like no shock of a I've ever seen. It doesn't have a stagger bar. Oh god. Before it gets me. Yeah, it doesn't have a stagger bar. Bounce in case it like starts healing. I pressed a dodge. Mm. Oh, this is a tough cookie as well. Dodge. Okay, just clearly not. Life. Can you stop? How do we go to stop? Give oh. us. Dodge! Jeebus, I'm pressing the button. Okay. Stupid chocobo. <laughs> Comet feather. He's doing crafting. Poor beast. There was nothing I could do. Okay. Let's, um... Okay, let's see what this item is, and then 
Okay, a blacksmith blues is around here as well. Uh, maybe we could fast travel to a quick point. No, may as well just carry on. Yeah, it's so annoying sometimes. Like, sometimes the like dodge box, like the hit box, is like quite close. But I'm like, I'm definitely like pressing it. And Clyde's just like, nope. Okay, so this should be around here. Oh my god, I have here small fry. Should be up here. Please all the way, Clive. It's fine. Get this item. Right. Oh, there's a upper desk here. Ah. Hello. Kicked out already. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Why? Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. <gasps> Rich. I suggest you go home. I suggest you let me That's in. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. <laughs> you changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. <laughs> All right. Just don't go starting anything with the chief. Can't make no promises, dude. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. Not good enough for you. God. Go on then. Much obliged. Okay. It's a bigger than I thought it was going to be behind here. So this is Dravosht. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive. Yes? You're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge in the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. Forge on the hill. Well, good luck. We'll be needing it. Hello. Oh, God. Is he a tough cookie to crack? Can't fire the forges, how are we gonna earn our keep? Oh, there's something going up with the forges. Mama. Oh god. What's happening? Potter! Potter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pushing to I'm the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, Snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. You don't even know why I'm here. Things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? You heard me. He's travelled a long way to see you. Yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. This guy Didn't doesn't seem very together? nice. So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere. These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless. Push them. We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm 
a busy man, as you can see. So do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. He's not a very nice right. character. I'm going. Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. Hmm. If you were nicer, Clive could have done something for you. What dickhead. <laughs> There's a store here. I think I need to restock on some uh, potions. Would you like to see my wares? This isn't Blackthorn in August. <laughs> Isn't there anything we can do today? Oh, this chest here. I am robbing your goblin coins, so take that. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to find our key? Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. How did you know? As a personal favour to him, yes. Hmm. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. No, after what, I did. what did you do? Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Travost. Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right and the other kind are in it for different reasons people like Zoltan whose work is quick and cheap the kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves there wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats and bit by bit people started taking sides you would have torn travels in half had it gone on so I left that's kind of fair, Dan. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. The Ravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. I don't know, it didn't look so, so good right now. Right now any rate. Yeah. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Mm-hmm. Travosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shared Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. Yeah, but if his work's cheap anyway, it's not really right. going to matter, is it? Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Mm -hmm. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravorst will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. Yeah, if his work's cheap for oh, anyway, no, it's then. not good new um compared to black ones, then is it? So you shouldn't have anything to worry exactly about. One -man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh alright then. Hmm. And I've got a job for you too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will stand the heat. Luckily for us. Salamanders feed out in the fields of Grava. Time for a spot of hunting, then. Okay. 
Salamanders. Okay. Sure. And they're quite tiny now. Obviously, I'm sure this one isn't going to be. I'll look at the where the mother crystal was in the background. It's kind of like such a pretty sight. Even if the crystal has gone. Okay, I don't want to fight that thing. Whatever that thing is. So... A salamander? Is that it in the distance? Maybe? That thing? Let's make this quick, shall we? That's not a salamander, that's like a wyvern thing. was not a salamander guys <laughs> thought we were really racking up the gill salamander skin nice i dare say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows cool let's just fast travel take the shortcut yeah, if his work is nothing compared to how Blackthorns is anyway, like sharing his furnace secret isn't going to be like such a big deal. What's this all about? Then? What's all this then? Sorry. Any trouble finding the skin? Mm -hmm. Nothing I couldn't handle. There you go. On not salamander skin. <laughs> there should be plenty. Awesome. Right then. Time to put these louds to work. <laughs> if everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. There you go. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right. Now, without a single crystal in sight. You are welcome. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Travoshed is saved. Sorry about earlier. Yeah, you should be, dick. <laughs> I, uh, take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? <laughs> Speak to him what yourself. Head cold cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there is my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. Fair enough. Are you good to talk to him, Mom? I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, 
I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. <laughs> I'm out of sleepless nights at the end, but we'll have to bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man traversed needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? So you're just jealous Cinders of him? Mean more coming from you. Right? I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you both as stubborn as each other. Well, you know what they say? Or if land weren't built in a day and all that. <laughs> these things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I call that a job well done. So would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off with us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. <laughs> see that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. Okay. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Let's head back to the hideaway then. You know, the both as stubborn as each other. Ah, oh, and you miss it. Is there another quest? Please, sir, can I have some mobile? Oh, God, do we need to take down a mobile? Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to have stay out welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I nor hear of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. There you go. You can't forgive you, but he's giving you this. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? Yeah, okay. You're sure he wanted me to have it? Yeah. I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Well, imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I can never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. Awesome. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? <laughs> and he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes. But I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. That's it. You just needed a bit of an ego massage, didn't you, really, Blackthorn? I ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. You? A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Awesome. So hopefully we might be able to craft something new. Arborous. A belt. Okay. Let's have a look. We probably need some like um uh ingredients and stuff for that, won't we? Let's have a look. So what do I owe the honor? I want to see what I need for what these upgrades. Um, where is it? Okay. Comet feather, we've got one. A stone tarn. Okay, so we need some more um, notorious marks. Okay. Um, 
stained loin cloth mobile flower. Maybe that other um, quest will get one. The other little side quest that's appeared. Okay. Extra 15 defense, I'm not going to like turn my nose up at. No new sword. Okay. Okay. And. Okay, guys. I think I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm starting to get like eye strain a little bit. My eyes are getting sore, so I'm gonna leave this one here. Um, in our next one, then we shall go ahead and. Um, I do want to check out this one. Like I say, maybe if this is down where the like garden is maybe we can upgrade like our potion pouch again because I think that's where we did it last time um obviously I don't know though so we'll just see um what else do we need to do oh yeah we'll go visit our chambers and new things at tombs Okay, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, we'll go check out this because if this is going to increase our like potion pouch and stuff again, then obviously I do want to do that. Uh, but with the plus sign, it does mean that we get something good, hopefully. Um, so we're going to do that in our next video and also we'll um, return to Ironworks. Um, go see Mid, give her the thing that we found as well. Um, and then hopefully after that we'll start to like look for Jill and find Jill, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know it's super, super long, but I do want to see everything that it has to offer and I am enjoying it a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. It would really, really help out the channel and it will help to push the channel out there on YouTube. So I would really appreciate it and I shall see you in the next one. Bye everyone.